Very good. It's about information at the end of the day. It's a asymmetric information because look what happens. The entrepreneurial side will always know more about their business ideas than you will do, the investor side. Whatever you try to do, you, you can go there and sit with uh, Seju, our big entrepreneur, every day watch his ideas, uh, work with him. You, you'll still not be able to get into his head and know what he knows about his business. You don't know how hard he is working for these ideas. You don't know how smart he actually is. You don't know whether he will be able to succeed or not. So, you see, it's not only about the risk here, because Maybe his idea will be in competition with another big idea. This is about risk. Yeah? He is acting in good faith. He's hardworking, very smart, whatever. But guess what? We, we have here another big uh, entrepreneur which comes with something totally different, much nicer. He will work uh, with, not with uh, the thoughts, he will work with some other uh, things like the vision. When, when you look at somebody, this person will automatically, uh, I don't know, have, be friend with you. Yeah? So this is another very good idea. And now, if I have this nice idea with looking at people and they will be friendly to me, more people will subscribe to my service and not to his service about punching people with uh, thoughts when you are not so uh, friendly with them. So you see, this is risk. Risk is normal. But I have the other side which says, I don't know if he's really working hard for his business. I don't know that. Maybe he's pretending that he's doing that. He says, give me money. I need to work on my business. He's buying a nice Ferrari. He is uh, booking a suite, an apartment here at Sheraton, and he says, I'm uh, working very hard using your money to develop my business. You call him, what are you doing? I'm working very hard, I'm working very hard. You hear this story time after time, and after one year, uh, Sedge will come, I'm sorry, but uh, you, you see, it's a crisis, it's a very big, a very difficult economic environment. Uh, I cannot deliver anything. Thank you for your money. We, we stay in touch for the future. Okay. And uh, this asymmetry in information, that is, you know what is symmetric and what is asymmetric. Symmetric means both sides will know everything equally. But it's asymmetric because he knows more. And this will make you, my dear investors, nervous. It yeah, will make you uh, thinking a lot, and you'll say, like, I would rather not invest at all. Maybe I should uh, keep the money under my bed. Uh, it's safer. You, you never know. These people are, are not uh, to trust. And now it's the intermediary that is coming between. It's like an interface. Yeah, it's something in between which will say, come on, I have experience. I have the know-how to really understand whether Sergio is a hardworking, honest entrepreneur or if he's just looking for your money to steal the money. This is the intermediary what he's doing. And what is about, very important about intermediaries now? What is the main asset of an intermediary? You know what the asset is? Yes. Security. You, I think you are close to what I'm after, but I'm not sure you are yet there. So this main interest for the business to be a success because it's going to have a percentage of the business? The, the bank will not have a, usually a percentage of the business. The bank will take commissions. Yeah. Through commission. Okay, so uh, imagine you, you Victor, you, you go from the side of entrepreneurs, you want to be an intermediary. And you will be here looking in the eyes of the investors, smiling very nice and telling them, trust me, trust me. Yeah? I, I'm not like the others. Yeah? I'm a very serious person. Give me your money and I will take care of them. So what do you want to sell actually? Faith and confidence. Confidence, reputation. This is all about, for intermediates, reputation. Therefore, the banks, you'll see, will always have huge buildings. The people there will always be dressed very nice in the banks. 
they will talk to you very nicely because they want to gain your confidence. This is about reputation, confidence. When an intermediary is losing this reputation, it's almost bankrupt. Nobody will trust the intermediary. Nobody will put the money there. Because, look, the bank will never say, I am multiplying your money. No, the bank will just say, I'm finding opportunities for your money to be multiplied. So you have to trust this institution that is honest, that they are smart enough to do that, and therefore the banks will always care about reputation. It's very, very important. And now it's easy to understand how it's this working. The banks is collecting the money from you and is finding opportunities. So you as uh, entrepreneurs, you could go to a bank and ask for money, but keep in mind the banks are not venture capital funds. They are not business angels, which means what for you? If you go to ask for money, you have to give them back. You always have to pay something back, even to business angel or. You have to pay interest for sure, but what else the banks want? A lot of, there, there's going to be a lot of criteria for you to get that money. You have to fulfill a lot of demands. You need to present a lot of papers. You'll have to... For sure. They would like to have a much lower risk. Oh. Yes. Why? Because the banks are usually working with the small people, with the... Uh, people without much financial education, and these people don't like risk. Venture capitalists, they usually work with big clients, rich people, which understand what is risk, and they, if they lose one million or something, these people will not go hungry home. But if you take a small person that saves I don't know, 1,000 euro, and he's losing the, his 1,000 euro, it might be that this person now will not buy enough food for the family the next month. It could be, yeah, because this 1,000 euro was big money for him. So therefore, in financial world, in economy, we, we make a distinction between the people that can afford to take risks, big risks, and people that cannot afford to do that. And if you cannot afford to do that, you bring your money, your savings to the bank. And now the bank will take a very, let's say, uh, prudent approach. That they will not risk too much your money. So if you go to a bank and you are here and you say, I want a credit, a loan, they will say, bye-bye. <coughs> they will never give you a loan here. They will probably give you a loan some were here, you, you really have to show that you had profits in the last three years. It's not just the last year that it was a good year. You have to show that you had profits in the last three years. You have to show, for example, invoices that you send to your clients that, that you, you are waiting for some money. You have accounts receivables. You, you, you know about that. Yeah? So you have to show you, you have, even if you don't have the cash now, I go with my invoices. I say, come on, I have accounts receivables. And I have accounts receivables from companies that people know. Give me some money. And they will lend you money. They will give you money. Otherwise, forget about it. It's no possibility. 